the silly arse novices chase his next two and a half miles this time and it's a grade one for the novices top one Ali Savannah for Craig Allen has also got Bilbo Baggins Harbour Laughs for Darren Thompson Prospect for David Hooley Snow King Leon Van Rensburg and two to lose for Ryan Tomasevi so just six in it then so it'll be five to lose not two to lose unless we have a dead heat of course and then there'll be four to lose but anyway enough of much nonsense they're called in and away they go and Snow King He's going to be the first to show as they get to the first, which is a ditch, and they're all safely over it. With Ali Savannah now coming through to dispute the lead with Snow King. Making their way towards the second then of the 16 fences. They've not got to negotiate in this one. And Ali Savannah on the outside is the leader from Snow King in second. And then it's virtually four and a line for the rest of them as they get to number two. And very short run to number three of course because these are the railway fences we're at Sandown for this and over it we go and Ali Savannah is in the lead and going to take them towards the pond fence with a lead of about a length to Prospect on the outside second two to lose is in third then comes Snow King and Harbour Lights and a bit of a gap to the back marker Bilbo Baggins so just six them in this then so five get round they'll all pick up some prize money as they make their way towards the pond fence, Ali Savannah has now opened up by about four. To Snow King in second and two to lose third. When they get to it, and over it they go, and they're all over it safely. And then we'll swing towards the straight, where they will negotiate a couple of fences. And depending on which version of the trap we've got, we might get a ditch, we might not. But it's Ali Savannah who's in the lead. This is a plain one, and over it they go. We'll safely over that one with Ali Savannah well clear they get over that ditch but it should be a double fence really that so there's not a ditch but it's the last but anyway Ali Savannah's the leader from Snow Key in second then two to lose is third and Harwell Lights is fourth Bilbo Baggins is fifth and Prospect is just a back marker as they pass the winning post with a complete circuit to go and Ali Savannah's lead is now up to seven lengths I would say with Harbour Laughs on the outside just about second, Snow King third and two to lose four. As we change angle. And they will make their way towards the back straight, which has got a couple of fences close together. The railway's towards the end of it as well, where they're three close together, so it's a good test of jump in this sand down trap. And Ali Savannah is in the lead, and these novices have been taking their fences pretty well so far. And Ali Savannah lead down to about four now from Bilbo Baggins who was the early back marker but he's now happily settled in second then comes two to lose in third and Harbour Laughs is fourth Snow King on the inside is fifth and Prospect has just dropped off the pace a little bit and is the back marker of the six as they complete this long run towards the next the water jump having been filled in of course and Ali Savannah takes that one nicely and gets over it well from in second place two to lose, that was the double and they're all over that, those two okay we should take a ditch shortly I think on this new layout and there they go over that one and then they'll race off towards the railway so Ali Savannah in the lead then with just, well there might be one more fence before the railways to be honest, I can't quite remember now because they've changed this track quite a bit recently and Ali Savannah is in the lead from two to lose in second Bilbo Baggins is third, Harbour Lutz is fourth they're getting well strung out now as they Take their way to this next one, and over it they go. And it is the railways next, and that's the second one. And they're all over that, and they say if you take one well, you'll take them all well. And they've all done that, although Prospect was a little bit slow at the back. And that one, I'm afraid, looks like it's going to be the one that's not going to pick up any prize money unless one of the others gets rid of its jockey so far. So the David Hooley show is not continuing into this race at the moment. He's um, had his fair share of luck already today, I would suggest. So anyway, Arlie Savannah's in the lead. Mind you, had a bit of bad luck as well in one race, didn't he? So Arlie Savannah's in the lead. Two to lose his second, and Harbour Lass is third, then Bilbo Baggins and Snow King. It's surely between these then as they make their way in there to the pond fence and over it they go and they're all over it so with this Ali Savannah is eight lengths clear and barring a fall or a miracle this is going to be another one in the book for Craig Allen I would think they're racing up the straight then now with two fences to take and the only one that's trying to get really close at the moment is two to lose Snow King now he's running on a little bit and Ali Savannah gets over that one and the lead is suddenly down to only four as two to lose is doing its best to close over the final fence they go Ali Savannah up the hill two to lose doesn't appear to be making much of an effort to run on in second and 
field. Ali Savannah is going to take it now. The jockey start to push along on the second third and fourth, but Ali Savannah stolen this one from the front. And Ali Savannah up towards the line takes it. Jockey sleeps the ground. Snow King second, then two to lose. And Bilbo Baggins, and I think Prospect may have actually got past Harbour Luffs to take fifth. So there it is then. Ali Savannah, a pretty comfortable winner. And the jockey easing down a little bit, I think, as well. Make sure he didn't win by too far. So Ali Savannah is the winner for Craig Allen. Snow King second for Leon van Rensburg. Two to lose for Ryan Tamasebi was third. Bilbo Baggins for Craig Allen was fourth. And Prospect, who looked nailed on for last at one point, ended up fifth for David Hooley.